Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is the world away. We have now got the infamous issue 87 of Eagle Moss's Build the DeLorean. Okay now, I've already been warned about a couple of things with this issue and there is loads to do. I mean, if you can just see what I've laid out all on this side here. Whoa! Uh, we're going to be basically doing the rest of the headlining here, or the roof lining, and then we're going to be putting it in the vehicle. Uh, so let's show you, we've got a, quite a few pages. Look at all of that stuff there, lights and stuff. Uh, I've already been told that one of these lights, I think this one here, the green and orange one, should have blue LEDs at the end, and I might have yellow LEDs. I've got no idea until I power it up, so uh, check that. Uh, anyway, this is the uh, what we're doing. We're doing all the headlining. That's two pages there. Then we're putting some of the electrics in. That's two pages there. And then we're putting the headlining in with the um, zum visors. That's two two pages there. That's a hell of a lot of stuff. <laughs> oh my god. Um, when I get to the problems, I think I'm going to go with it as if you don't know what the problems are and we'll see what happens. I already know about problems with using BM screws, not EM screws at the end. But Let's pretend that we don't know what's going on and uh, we will get on with it and see what happens. So first thing, step one, we've got this great big power bank here of switches, as you can see. Now I already know when the light goes through these, as you can see from this picture here, it makes it completely see-through. So uh, you need to black it out a little bit. I have had a bash at blacking it out, uh, but that's not really a very good job in that, to be honest with you. And to be honest with you, um, I can see someone doing a mod for this, uh, big time. <laughs> so when that mod comes, uh, we'll be happy. Um, but anyway, this bit is basically gonna be going on just this section here, and it's gonna be facing with the switches, obviously, outwards like that. Just like that. And that's going to be secured in with uh, the famous GP screws. Now, they gave us a whole heap of screws for this. IP, NM, BP, BM. And they've even gave us some little hinge points for the sun visors. So I'll get the GP screws out like they want me to. Because this is the first thing to go in. And we'll get this screwed in. Uh, it's two screw holes. Here's the first one. Nice and easy. That's one in. Let's get the second one in. Just like so. These are going in nice and easy, actually. That's the second one in. Perfect. Looking just like that. Excellent. Uh, okay, so that was step two. Step three, we've got two that go at the back. Now, these are exactly the same. So when we put these in, again, the switches are going to be going in exactly the same way as the switches from the front one. They're going to be going in sort of like... Uh, oh, God, how do we get these in? Have they got a little pin? Yeah, they've got a little pin that uh, should help you align it. So put the little pin in, there we go. They're just off center, these ones, as you can see. And the next one's gonna be going in there. Now I'm gonna try and do both together if I can keep my hands on them. <laughs> uh, these are gonna be put in with GP screws as well. So uh, once we've got those little power banks, I keep calling them power banks, switches. Once we've got these switches in, can I keep them with both hands? They're gonna be connected with one screw each. So here's the, uh, the back one going in. Feels like it's going in okay. And then, We'll just load up, oops, the very back one here, which is one screw as well. Oh, and my phone's making noises. Someone wants me. <laughs> Okie dokie. Make sure they're straight, and that's good. That's how that looks there. Very good. That was step four done. Okay, now, so step five, we're going to be putting this little black section in. Now, I do believe this little black section is probably going to have some sort of... Uh, uh, I don't know if it's going to have a bulb in it or something, but it can only go in one way. You've got a little pinhole there, just on the corner. It's going to go in that one there, and that's going to be going onto this bit just like that. So that will show you that you can only put it in one way. And there is going to be a little bulb behind that light. I'm not quite sure what that's going to light up, actually. Uh, but again, that's going to be put in with a, um, a BP screw. Look, I'm using GP screws here. Uh... Yeah, it's different. It's different. The others were right. They were GP screws. This one happens to be a BP screw. Slightly different. So uh, don't get confused by that. Definitely a different screw. We're using a BP screw in here. Uh, it goes in just the one that's got the little uh, indent on it, as you can see there. So I'm just putting this in nice and slowly, actually, because uh, I don't want to round the screwdriver. But that's that one in there. Okay, so step seven, we're going to take this section here because we're going to be starting to fit these little visors here. And the visor's got a little hinge mark on there, which is going to be going in that hole. Make sure you fit them in the right way so it's going to fit flush just like that. Uh, we need to secure this in. So what we have to do is use one of these pins which came in the pack. I'll try and show you what that looks like. Uh, and I'm going to try and put it in freehand. 
without a uh, <laughs> without tweezers can I do it that's the question uh, by the look of it that's a big no it's best when you do it to uh, just keep the uh, visor open just a little bit so that holes nice and uh, big <laughs> oops and I've just lost that there we go that's in perfectly just like that and then what we're going to do is secure this in place with just one of these little black things which is going over the top uh, just see what way round it goes uh, there is a way oh god uh, I'm just trying to think of this one uh, it's going to be going in with the indent down basically so uh, when we put this in it's going to be going in just like that there we go so that, I've already got a screw in here so I'm just going to uh, screw that in completely now on one side just to start it off, these are IP screws. Then I'm going to get another IP screw and I'm going to put that in the other side just like this. And we'll secure that down as well. Oh, these magnetic screwdrivers, I'm telling you, they are good. But when you don't want them to be magnetic, they're a pain in the butt. <laughs> so let's put this one in as well. I hope you can see what I'm doing here. I'm trying to show you on the cameras here and we'll just get that tightened up. okay so that's one in get the other one in and that's the other one in as well so that's held in nice and tight and that's the first visor done um this visor is very very loose i don't know if it's meant to be loose or what <laughs> but uh yeah looks pretty interesting so uh, i'll have to figure out why that's so loose i'm sure someone mentioned this before but uh i might have to tighten that up a little bit but anyway we're going to do the same to the other side which means i've got to find the little metal thing that just pinged off <laughs> Okay, thank God that didn't take too long, but I've got the little metal thing. We're going to do the same with the other side now. So uh, the basically it goes in just like this, this way round. Fits in perfectly like that. Um, and then we're going to do exactly the same thing. Turn it over, get this pin in the other side here. I'm going to try and do it freehand again. If it don't work, no, I'll get my little trusty tweezers out. There you go, that's that one in. I'm just going to let it drop into the little alcove there. And then once again, we're going to be putting the uh, the little black sort of like cover on it to stop that falling out. Just like that. And once again, we're going to secure these in with IP screws. That was tricky. I don't mind saying that was tricky. Getting those little pins in my eyesight in what it used to. I really need to see an optician actually because uh, that whole thing to me was completely blurred. <laughs> So I'll just put that in a little way. We're going to put the second one in now. And then we'll get these tightened up. Tighten them up nice and tight. That's the first one in. And that's the second one in. As you can see, these just basically hang down. Look, they're just hanging there. I don't quite know what they're meant to be doing. <laughs> They're very loose. Uh, they are definitely in the right way. I'm just double checking. Yep, definitely, definitely in the right way. So why they're so loose is beyond me. Got a nice wiggle and stuff. But there we go. I'm going to do exactly what it told me to do. Uh, I'm not going to do any more because uh, I'll break it. I know I will. Step 13, we're going to be taking some electrics. We want the electrics with the three lights on, just like that. Uh, because we're going to be trailing these into some sections here. And basically, the way they're going to go is the longer one is going to be going into the end one just at the top here. So I'll put that one in first. Holding the bulb, not the wire. So we've got that one in just like that. The second one, the medium sized wire, is going to be going into this one here. So we'll put that one in just like that. Again, holding the bulb. It's already angled this one actually, so it's going to be able to fit down where it goes. As a matter of fact, that one doesn't quite sit in for its, by, by itself. And then the last one is just going into the hole just behind it, just here. Uh, and they've got this one sort of wrapping around. Now they're actually keeping all of this in place. I want to push this in. There you go. They're keeping all of these wires in place with some tape, <laughs> and which is what they gave us here. Uh, and on this occasion, I haven't got any scissors, so uh, oh, I don't need any because you can just peel them off just like this, get the black sections. Now the way they've done it is basically they're putting 
the tape over these sections here. It doesn't, it doesn't want me to screw anything into these uh, little things. You've got some screw holes here thinking you'd have to screw something, but uh, it doesn't want us to, so I'm just going to put some tape in. So that's the first bit of tape, just like that. The second bit of tape, it wants going just over this light here, just to keep that in place. I am conscious that this tape's black as well, so I don't know if it's black because of light bleed or what. I haven't got a clue. And then the third one, I'm trying to get this in some sort of order. God, it's all over the place, isn't it? I mean, my wire looks nothing like their wire. So I'm going to probably just do it how I feel. I don't think it matters. As long as those lights are through the hole and that they're tidied up at this end and they're not over going any of these holes here, I think you're going to be fine. But that's how I've done mine. If they don't like it, sue me. <laughs> uh, but basically it wants this wire, uh, all the wires actually, and the yellow wire, coming out to these two points just here. Now on those points here, uh, we're gonna be putting one of the little tabs in. Now those tabs was in the same bag as the um, uh, as the, the pin. So I'll get that out and that looks just like that. And the way this goes in, just have a look, is with the screw going into this side here. So once this is in, I always have problems with these, just so you know. It's going to be going in just like that. It's going to be held in with an IP screw, which is one of these little screws again. There we go. That's screwed in nice and tight. So that's the wires in there. You can tidy them up or however you want to do it. But at the end of the day, you just want this to fit flush into the vehicle. So once they're in, basically, we've got to move <laughs> all of this out of the way because I've got to bring up the main body of the vehicle, which means I'm going to be putting down my tatty bit of cloth Put these to one side and we'll get the vehicle up here now. Okay, so looking at the vehicle at the moment, if you look on the, just this camera here, we've got two holes, one here and one here. This is where it's going to want the next bit of electrics. Now this is the lead. Uh, we don't know whether they're blue or light. These are going to be light in the flux bands with the uh, optic fiber. So if they're yellow, they're going to look a bit stupid. But uh, I don't know until I light them up. Uh, I'm not really that interested in it anyway because I am going to be swapping these out for electric wire. But we'll put them in anyway because it tells me to do. So what we're going to do, as it says in the picture, we're going to push those into these two holes. So that's the first one in. They should pop out the, uh, the top there. So you want to push them quite far down here. And we do the same to the second one all the way down there to keep that locked in so they're coming out the top uh, which we've done uh, once they're in that's step 18 uh, we're going to turn the vehicle over i have put some masking tape on these doors to stop the thing opening but uh, we want to pull these through so we've got one there and oh, that one there so there's the two that are through uh, and then it says Fix the remaining two stickers over the wires. They'll be covered with a power coil. So we're going to be putting some stickers on the wires that we, we put there. Oh my God, stickers. But well, I think these stickers are far too big. But I will put them on for now. Uh, I'll see where they want us to put it. They want us to put it so it's basically covering that little hole up there. But I will put these in just for a minute. How, oops, how it wants me to. And then later on I will... Uh, probably move these down I think they're here just to keep them in place for the minute to be honest with you so that's the first one in this is the second one this is step 20 this is a bit of a is it just me or is this a bit of a bodge issue do you think I think it's a bit of a bodge issue <laughs> that's okay so that's step 20 so then we're going to turn it back over again now we know they're in place oh, god this thing's heavy and we've got all of these higgledy piggledy mess of wires here. And they basically want all of these wires uh, coming through this back section here. So we've got one there. We've got two here. We've got three here. We've got four here. And we've got five here. Let's make sure they're not tangled. We don't want them tangled. So we've got all five wires. It says push the roof interior into position carefully. So once these are out just like that, the roof interior is going to be going in to this section here. So obviously we want to make sure this is the right way around. Uh, and we want these wires as well going over, I guess. Uh, but that's going to be fitting in place there. So all we were doing then was we were just putting everything to one side so that we can get everything in. So I'm just looking to make sure that's fitting perfectly. 
Yep, that looks like it's fitting absolutely perfect just down there. We have got some other wires here, uh, which are from the doors. Doesn't quite say what to do with those, um, but by the look of it, hmm, I don't know if they're going under the plastic or around the plastic. For now, I think I will stick them, hmm, let's have a look. I'm gonna stick them around the plastic. So if I can move it later, I will. So these wires here, I don't know if you can see them on camera, I'm putting them outside, just around, like that. This is a fiddly issue. Okay, once we've done that, it wants us to put NM screws in to six holes, which we've got uh, three at the back, and we've got three around here. Now, I've been told not to use NM screws. I've been told to use BM screws. I don't know if that's right. So, we're gonna try it, just like you would, if you've seen this first time. And the first NM screw is the one that goes slap bang in the center, uh, just like this here. So I'm going to try and put that in and see what happens. Right, well, I have to say, the NM screws got in fine. So, not quite sure about that. Instruction that I've had from people. Have anyone else had problems with these screws? I'm putting the NM screws in. They're going in absolutely perfectly. So that's the second one in. We've got these two at the back here to put in. First one, that's gone in fine. Here's the next one. I think I need to attach my rear view mirror again. I think that's uh, fallen off a little bit. I was debating whether to have that in, but I will have it in. I'll just uh, put a bit of glue on that. Uh, and then we've got two more, which are just either side of, uh, oh God, let me find this. Uh, we've got to just lift the visors up. They're just inside where the visors are here. So that's that one in. Yeah, these are going in absolutely perfectly. I think where it's being pressed now against the chassis of the vehicle, that's what solved the uh, sun visors. They're looking a lot straighter now when they're up. So that is all the NM screws. That should have been six NM screws. And then the last one, we've got two BM screws into these sections here. So uh, this is the actual last bit we do. I was panicking about this issue, I tell you. I am standing up for this. Um, I don't think it's been too bad. So here's the first BM screw in. That's gone in absolutely fine. And I'll just put the second BM screw in on the other side. And that, believe it or not, whoops, is it. So apart from the light bleed we're gonna get from that vehicle, from the uh, switches there, and that's in as perfect as well. Uh, that is that. Now look at that on the top camera. It's pretty hard to show you this. I've got all the wires coming out the back here. You can see that on the uh, side camera there, but that is the whole issue done. I think the only thing I have to do on this or cocked up is just uh, reattach the wing mirror here, which uh, has fallen off, but I will get that done. Nice, easy issue. Why do people have problems with that? What was wrong with that? I've done something wrong, haven't I? I must have done something wrong for you to uh, be telling me, oh, you're gonna have fun with that. I don't think that, that was a problem at all. Look, I'm, I'm gloating now. <laughs> okay, look, in the next issue, we've got these little bits here to go in, uh, which are the um, add seat belts and interior details to your DeLorean. That's what we're gonna be doing. That's issue 88 miles an hour. So tune in next Thursday when that's gonna be. Anyway, I hope you like that video. Take care.